in trances Going off to different places, different planets Got your aura past me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You look fast Into my birthday dress to tour and welcome back to another sewing tutorial this is going to be a very exciting project and it's going to be for my birthday dress i turn 32 on the 16th of august and it's going to be something very low-key very understated but still quite classy is this black cocktail dress that was inspired by an amber Crombie and fitch i think that's how the brand name is said but i saw this dress on tiktok and I wanted to make my own version. So I have the majority of the dress in black and then I have the panels on the side that is a Ghana skirt made with Ankara print. So it's a fusion of color and print but still keeping, you know, very classy, very sophisticated because we're grown. Okay, we're grown. So you're going to see how I made this dress from scratch. I shared how to make the sewing pattern, how I cut, stitch, fit the dress and the finished piece at the end. Make sure to keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up so that way more people get to see this tutorial and it will be like a nice birthday gift for me, honestly. So give this video a thumbs up now if you haven't subscribed already. Do so at this point and let's get into my birthday dress tutorial. <laughs> For this dress design, I'm going to be combining print and plain and the print of choice is this yellow, black, red and white material. I ended up using about a meter and a half. I'm going to link my store down below if you're looking forward to shop and craft fabrics. I combined this fabric with a plain black cotton. I don't know why this clip turned out blurry, but for the cotton, I used about two meters. I also grabbed myself some bias tape to create the shoulder straps. And in addition to that, I got two sets of a ring and a double ring to make my straps adjustable. If you haven't seen my tutorial showing how to make an adjustable strap, make sure to go check that out because that's what I worked with for this project. I have the measurements listed here because we're going to be making the pattern from scratch. I highly recommend you work with yours or that of your client for the best outcome. Now I'm going to start from the front and then go on to work on the back. I'm going in here to mark my desired dress length. This I'm marking from the top of my bust down to the hemline and my dress length is 40 inches so it sits on the midi side of things. Now below the neckline I'm marking 4 inches downwards and that's going to become my bust line and from my bust line to my waistline I'm marking my vertical distance like so. Next up, I'm going in here to square the points across, which essentially just means drawing a horizontal line that cuts across those points. So I'm able to go back in and mark my horizontal dimensions such as my bust, my waist and my hip, so on and so forth. Starting from the neckline, I'm going to be marking half of my across chest. Mine is 12 inches, so half of that is 6 and I'm just marking that across like so. And then I'm going to my bust line and I'm marking a quarter of my bust measurement plus half an inch ease because I want to be able to breathe and eat in this dress. Then along my waistline, I'm marking a quarter of my waist measurement plus one inch for the waist dart. I'm just going in to connect all the points together to create my side seam for the front. And then I'm marking half of my nipple to nipple measurement. This is going to guide me to draw the seam that cuts through my bust. Now I'm drawing a vertical line that cuts through that half nipple to nipple measurement. And then I'm going to draw in the arm curve and the neckline of this dress. The neckline goes below the bust by about an inch, give or take. I wanted it to be open, but not too open. And then I'm drawing in the side seam to connect to the very top of the neckline of the dress 
Next up, I'm marking 4 inches below the waistline because the dress has a dropped waistline which is very reminiscent of the 80s and I'm just squaring that across like so, so it helps me plan in the shape that the dress has. Now along that point, I'm marking a quarter of my around belly measurement so when I have the dress on, it actually is comfortable and not too tight on me. The next thing I'm going to do is essentially just extend that vertical line downwards like so. Now I'm going to go to the waistline and mark half an inch away on both sides of our vertical line and then draw in the waist that. This is going to help to shape the dress and help it sit really nicely on the body. And then I'm going to go ahead to draw it downwards towards that belly line and then I'm going to shape it upwards towards the neckline too. Now I'm marking away about one inch. I ended up stitching more than one inch when I stitched this dress but at this point I just marked away one inch and then connected it to the waist art because I found that it gaped just a little bit so just keep that in mind when you're making yours. Here I'm just measuring the neckline dart lines to ensure they are the same line because when you draw lines like this and connect them together when you've cut it onto fabric you want to be sure that they are the same lengths so you have equal amount of fabric to sew together. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to draw in the curved shape that the dress has on the side and I'm marking 3.5 inches below our drop to waistline and drawing in a curve that goes from the side seam and dips down towards that middle line where we drew our dart. Now I'm extending the vertical line downwards all the way to the hemline and then I'm going to mark the vertical distance from my waist to my hip and square that point across like so. Now along this line that I've just drawn, I'm going to mark a quarter of my hip measurement. This is just going to guide me when I draw in the A-line silhouette that this dress has. Now this will just go from the hemline and connect to the waistline area. So I have the full front dress plan done. Now that sounded complicated, but it's actually very doable. I promise you, just take your time creating your plan, double check your measurements before you go back and trace off the different panels that the front of the dress has. So you want to trace off the middle front, the top side and the bottom side. So you end up with three pattern pieces. When you trace off your panels, remember to exclude the dart along the neckline and along the waistline. Remember also to add adequate seam allowance. I'm working with one centimeter around my pattern piece. Don't forget to add your annotations, your notches, as well as your grain lines, because those will really become helpful when it's time to cut this pattern onto fabric. Now we have the front pieces done, we're going to grab that side skirt piece and actually add some volume onto it. You can work with the pattern the way it is now, but the original design had some gathers along the side skirt. So I'm going to divide this piece into three. I spaced them out by about 2.5 inch, so that's the width of each panel. And once I had that marked in place, I tried to spread it as evenly as possible this is not really a very asymmetric this is not a very symmetric piece so i try to spread and distribute the volume as much as possible so once i had the lines drawn in place i went ahead to cut along those lines because i'm going to be spreading all three panels as much as i would like now i spread mine by about two to 2.5 inches just know the more you spread it the more volume that the dress is going to have along the side when you gather it back into your dress i feel like i should have spread it more it came out good i love the fit on me but if i wanted more drama i would have definitely added up to like four to five inches in between each panel once you have that spread and taped down you'd want to connect your pieces along the top so it's even and smooth and along the bottom as well before cutting out this side skirt or this side bottom piece that's going to be stitched onto the front and the back of the dress now i'm just going in here to cut out the skirt piece like so ensuring that i retain all of the pieces that i want to keep in there and then once that is done i'm going to set it aside and go ahead to work on the back patterns of this dress
After adding my grain line and annotations for my skirt piece, I'm going to go back to my front plan to create my back dress patterns. Now the back dress has two major changes. The first change is the center back has a center back that, that just dips in by about half an inch. So that way we don't have a zip bulge happening and it just sits nice and smoothly on the body. So it goes in on the waistline and then it curves back onto the hip and the bust area. And then the back neckline is about one inch below the bust line. You can make yours as deep or as shallow as you're comfortable with. I just find that putting it around the bust is like a nice place because when I wear a bra, the bra is actually concealed under the dress. Now, once those changes are made, I went ahead to trace off the back dress patterns, which in this case will only be two. So I'm going to be tracing off the middle back piece and I'm going to be tracing off the top side piece. The bottom skirt is going to be the same for the front and for the bottom so there is no need to make a second one for that particular side. So this is what the middle back piece looks like with one centimeter seam allowance added around and two centimeter hem allowance. I also went off to trace the side piece to finish off this project in terms of like pattern making if you guys would like to see the sewing tutorial please let me know in the comment section down below you guys usually just prefer me to show you the patterns and you always figure out how to sew it but if you'd like to see the sewing tutorial give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and if you'll be recreating this project don't forget to tag me on social media at kim dave designs huge thanks to all of the paid members of the channel who keep this machine running and flowing and until my next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye second chances empty and you like to drive get down dirty i got the bad guy